Hey guys, welcome back to Rule the World. So last episode we set up the battlements because we have a feeling that Lord Blackwood, well we got an anonymous tip off from um, the purple champion, whoever that may be, got my, got my theories, but um, Blackwood's on his way. He's bringing his army and we need to be ready for when he gets here. So we set up some cool walls at the front of our kingdom and uh, we've also decorated them with archers that should be able to see off any foes that come by. I'm, I'm not sure if it will work, I hope it does. But this episode we're going to get even more ready because it doesn't help to get even more prepared for the battle that's coming. I've got some ideas with TNT and uh, and the Mana Blaster as well that might put a few um, a few thorns in his plans. So let's jump in and get to it. All right, there's Berem. Hey Berem. So we've uh, we've sorted out we sorted out the battlements now. We've got some archers up there. Um, so what we need now is I've had this idea, right? If we can get some TNT and we can put it out on the battlefield, we can like set it off with a mana blaster that has a mana lens that will ignite whatever it shoots. Now I'm pretty sure the mana blaster's over here in the warehouse. I think we've probably got some TNT in our main warehouse, but where is the mana blaster? We've got a mana lens. There he is, there's the bad boy, right there. But it's got the entropic lens at the moment. We need to make uh, an, an igniting lens. So let's see how you make that. Lens, gravity bore, damaging, phantom. Kindle, Kindle, that'll be it. That'll be the one that sets fire to things. So we need a fire charge and a regular mana lens. And how do you make a fire charge? Simple. Gunpowder, coal, and blaze powder. So I'm going to go and grab um, a lens first, which is four mana steel and a glass pane. We should have enough of that in here. Any panes? Oh, you know, the problem with glass panes is they're a real pain to make. Do you get it? Did you get it? There's a, that's a joke there. Right, okay. So we're gonna need some glass blocks. Now we made, oh no, there's, there's, there's some glass panes. They're almost invisible. We're gonna need a mana lens. So that's a glass pane with uh, a ring of mana steel around the edge. There we go. We'll put this back into the warehouse. And now we need a fire charge, which is literally gunpowder. Now is there any gunpowder in here? Oh, there's one, that's handy. Gunpowder. Also coal, don't see any coal, but what was the final, the final ingredient? Blaze powder, right, there must be blaze powder in here. Maybe there isn't though. We can always just use that, that, um, that special metal though, the vulcanite. Right, let's go and get some blaze powder and some coal to finish up this mana lens. Now I've got a couple of rings on me, I've charged up, I've made another greater band of mana, and both of, well, one of them's half full, the other one's pretty full, and this should keep me flying for a long time before needing a refill. Oh, there's Tron. In fact, it's getting quite late, we should have a sleep, I think. But uh, not just yet. We can't sleep, actually, because we need to prepare for when uh, for when Blackwood gets here. There we go, Vulcanite. Let's just make a... Well, we're not, we don't use Vulcanite for anything else, so we might as well just make, like, a stack, well, or 32 blaze rods. There we go. Blaze powder. And it was also coal. Now, is there any TNT in here anyway? Let's take a look. TNT. Sort by input. There we go, 18 TNT. That should be plenty. Uh, but also we're going to need some coal. Wow, we've got 1,700 coal. That's crazy. That should be plenty to power our Batania flowers for quite some time. Uh, speaking of Batania, actually, have you seen the princess? Baron? Baron, have you gone? Have you seen the princess anywhere, Baron? I wonder where he's probably the blacksmith or something. Doing his thing. But I haven't seen the princess for a while. I wonder what she's up to. I wonder if she's done anything special with our Batania setup. She was preparing to rally my people. Oh. Cool. I, what, does she, what, does, what does that mean? I wonder, I wonder what, what, ra what rallying could be done. I can't wait to find out. I can't wait to find out how, how, how she stirred the hearts and minds of the people. Okay, fire charge. In case of attack, to get them to safety. Oh, right, yeah, because obviously if, if, if Blackwood's army marches on the kingdom, what are the NPCs going to do? All right, so I've got the mana, the mana, the fire charge here, the mana lens, bam, a mana lens of King Kindle, and now if we just... Put that there, we get we can take out the entropic lens and we can put in the Kindle lens. Now actually, can I put in two lenses at once? Probably not. No. But I'm thinking actually, maybe the uh, entropic lens, the one that explodes stuff, maybe that's even better. In fact, that's probably better than setting fire to TNT, is exploding it. Probably didn't even need to make that lens at all. So let's put the um, let's put the entropic lens back in there and give this a test. Now also I think we're gonna need to put a main gate. On our, uh, on, a, on, our, on our wall, because that's what we haven't done yet. Now, I'm pretty sure I made a gate somewhere, and it must be floating around. Gate. Let's take a look, because there must be one somewhere. It must be in, like, a chest hidden away. 
Hey, Barum, how's it going? Let's see if I can find one over here by my um, by my Britannia stuff. No, well, oh, there's a fresh flask of shielding in here. That might come in handy. Oh, and a spare mana lens. Oh, I could have used that earlier. Right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to make myself an ancient warfare gate. Right, you've seen these before. We made one before. Thank, thanks, Barum. Thanks for reminding me. So we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a, a a gate, an ancient warfare gate, ancient war, and you've seen these before. They're kind of like a, a, a retractable drawbridge. We're gonna use an up down one, an iron gate up down. Whoops! Why does that keep doing that? And we need iron, redstone, and I think this is. Oh, where's that gone now? There we go. Iron, redstone, and this looks like smooth stone. So we get some smooth stone. I wonder if there's any iron actually in here. We've got ingots arrayed over on the left. But we might as well use these ingots that are just stuck around in the warehouse. Iron. Uh, is there redstone in here, actually? That's a good question. Yes. Oh, loads. Thank God. Our quarry must be getting quite deep, actually. Now, have we got any diamonds in here? Have we collect any diamonds? Whoa! 15 diamonds? So let's take a look at the quarry, actually. See how that's going. Oh, everybody's at home because it's night time. But, oh, yeah. I can see that. That definitely looks like bedrock down there. It might be basalt. But it, it really does look like bedrock to me. Yeah, we've hit lava by the looks. There's some obsidian over there. So I think this quarry is just about done. And you know what? That's perfectly in time for me completing my flying tiara. Because it means we can cover this over with a layer of dirt. And we can build a big castle on top of this huge ground. We'll set up a big wall around this. Have like a hedge maze, some towers. It'll be great. And this can also be the edge of the kingdom on this side. It does mean we're penning ourselves in a bit. But we should, we should create a lot of space when we cover this over with grass. Right, so an ancient warfare gate. Pretty simple enough. I've got the redstone, I've got the iron. All I need is the smooth stone. So by input. Wow, we got 64. Perfect. So now I, I might need to make this in a special ancient warfare crafting bench. But if I do, oh, I think I put that downstairs, didn't I? There we go. Engineering station. So we put the redstone in the bottom. Iron ingots there. Stone on the left and the right. Yeah, there we go. Bam! An iron gate vertically opening. Right, okay, that looks like everything. I'll put this stuff back in the uh, in the warehouse. Iron, redstone, normal stone. Uh, might need some of this cobblestone, though. I've got my pickaxe and my hammer. Let's head to the front gate and prepare a gateway to get out to the battlefield. A gateway to get through this massive wall. But also, hey, Hannah, how's it going? Also, we're going to have to put down some TNT and probably, co probably cover it up with some cobblestone or something to make sure they can't see where the TNT is from their side so they don't know not to go near it. Right, so let's just dig through here. Right, so this looks about perfect size to me. Let's just dig through the end as well. Now we're going to have to carve out some of the wall this side a bit. We might have to break one of those cool banners that we put down last time. But yeah, oh, this is perfect, right? Now, also, actually, I had a thought. We've got, like, a whole bunch of trees over here. And we want to be able to see the battlefield clearly. We don't want the enemy hiding in these trees. So I'm going to use my axe and uh, chop this down. Oh, now, another thing, actually, is um, is that it looks like... Uh, did you install these, Baron? These uh, sand mufflers to keep the sheep and the pigs and the cows quiet? Because they're doing a great job. L literally, it's so annoying going past farms and hearing just the non-stop chatter of the animals. It's really nice now to just be able to, to, to run around in, in almost eerie silence, actually. Um, um, actually, it kind of feels a bit lonely without the pigs and the cows and the sheep. I was thinking, it feels like a, like a ghost town in here now. We do have the NPCs running around, though, so they keep the place nice and busy. Well, let's go and take a look at what the, um, what the new stuff is over at the Britannia setup, because I know the princess, before she went off to rally the people, I think I'm pr pretty sure she... she she did something over here. Oh, that's right. I think she spoke of this. She, she did tell us about putting down the ender lily seeds onto end stone. Now, this is uh, end, ender lily seeds grow much quicker on end stone. But not only that, it looks like she's put down some funky flowers here. Floating agricarnations. Just if I click to harvest them. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure how quickly these are going to grow. But we could gather up a whole bunch of ender pearls now. In fact, why not? So I'm just going to right click on these and hopefully not put down a, a stone brick or anything. Oh, now they are spiky, so you'd have to be careful, but it looks like they unspike when you harvest them. Oh, looks like Baron put down another muffler to stop. Right, so apparently ender lilies make a really weird noise. And it's worthwhile 
putting down a muffler to just drown that out. I can't quite get to the uh, ender lilies that are un directly underneath these um, agricarnations, though, so it might be worth um, might be worth replacing that with like um, like a block of oh water or something. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, pretty good haul actually. That's 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 32 plus six ender lilies. Plus we actually got an extra seed. I'm not quite sure how. None of the plants broke. So wow, I, I didn't actually know that these things had a chance of dropping extra seeds. But that's pretty sweet. And these agricarnations, if I had to guess, I'd guess they make plants grow quicker. But I don't have to guess, because I have a Lexica Botania. I could read it, but you know what? I'm going to assume they make the plants grow quicker, but we can let the princess tell us all about those when she gets back. Right, now it's time to head out onto the battlefield, I think, and put down some TNT and clear out some of those trees. Oh, yeah. oh wow, I haven't used this axe before, but it's a beast. It's just, it, it, it digs like instantly, and because it's got tree capitate, every bit of the tree just vanishes. Oh, that is so cool. This is going to be super useful for clearing out forests. I wonder what happens if I hit this big thing, though. Whoa! Oh man, I tell you what, if I if I bashed one of the big trees next to Blackwood's castle, I wonder what would happen to that. Would it just like totally disintegrate? That'd be crazy. Okay, now I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about picking up this wood. My pack's full, but you know what, I don't care because I don't actually need wood. I've got lumber to last me until the cows come home. So it's just about clearing out space right now and we can just leave the lumber out here to just decay on its own. All right, well, what we're going to do now as well is we're going to level out some of this um, some of this dirt so that we can see what's going on on the battlefield ahead of us. So we're going to use our excavator now, switch it out, and do a bit of digging as well. Right, there we go. That's the area pretty much clear. There's loads of stuff on the floor, but that's okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to build small hills now with little stacks of TNT just over this side of it. And what we can do is we can just fill this up with TNT, and then when the enemy gets close, We'll uh, shoot the mana blaster at it. One ignition and kaboom. Half of Blackwood's army goes up in smoke. It's going to be great. This is going to be a great idea. Okay. So we're going to hide a nice little cache of TNT underneath here. We want lots of TNT because we want it to blow big. But we don't want it to blow in a way that destroys our wall. So we have to be super careful. There we go. There's one nice big cache. And we'll put another one over here. And just hope he goes near these things. If he doesn't, never mind. Our troops on the wall will take care of him. You might see that the archers aren't there at the moment. I packed them up for the time being because that many archers need a lot of food and we can't afford to feed them right now. So we're just going to keep them in boxes, just like good troops, and uh, we'll crack them out when we need them to defend when Blackwood's army is on the horizon. This really isn't the way that I want to fight wars, though. I think in future we're going to have to make sure that we, we get a much better early warning system because I never want to be on the back foot. I never want to defend. I want to be the one attacking always. There we go, TNT. Right, so we can just shoot one of these piles and fingers crossed he won't know that the TNT is hidden behind these. Right, so that's the gate taken care of and that is the TNT setup. Let's head back inside the base. Oh no, we haven't put the gate down yet. Now the tools to setting up a gate is I think it's pretty much you press Z on one position and then you set the second position again with another Z. Then you right click and bam. Oh, this gate looks amazing. I love it. And now we right click on it. It's got like, it's got like new Sfax textures and everything. Oh, this is so cool. And now I right click, the gate comes up and I can enter the kingdom. This is so cool. Right click again and the gate comes down and no one's getting through. But the gate only locks into position when it's finally reached its point. And there we go. Nothing can get through this gate. Oh, this is amazing. All right, Berm, it looks like things are going pretty well. In fact, you should go and see the gate in a second because it, it looks so good. You'd be so proud. That, that much iron working is, is like a blacksmith's dream, I'm pretty sure. So let's just take stock of what we've got. Like, if, if push comes to shove and I have to hit the front lines and do some damage myself, I've got the headhunter crossbow. And obviously the Sword of Shinterfell, this, this great and brave, powerful relic of, of awesomeness. I've got the Mana Blaster, that is basically a rocket launcher, and that'll do some damage to his troops, I'm pretty sure. Basically, we, we just got like, what, what was that? Did you hear that? Drums! Horns and drums, oh my, I think his army's here. That must be his army. What are we gonna do? All right, I, I think I think we're ready. I think we're gonna have to go with what we've got. We've got archers, we've got the grunts, we've got the TNT traps. We just gotta hope this is enough. My lord, I've had the people working on something just in case. What have they been working on? Wait, what is this? 
a secret trap door? How did I not see this before? Your friends mentioned sewers. Well... It's a ladder, it goes... Oh my god! What is this? It's... If this is a whole sewer system, underneath... This is crazy! What is... What are these? Via Zephos? Via Nano Sounds? Have... Via Littlewood? Have all the NPCs... Have, have, have you... Have you guys named... Oh, I see. So you've actually given... We don't even have street names up on top, you know? And that's a good point, actually. We should give... We should think up some street names for the names of the kingdom. And in fact, I want you guys at home to do that right now. If you can think of any cool names for our streets of in the kingdom, I want you to put that in the comment section on YouTube or go to reddit forward slash r forward slash yogscast and uh, post there what you think we should put some cool street names uh, in the kingdom are and we'll put down some cool street names and some street signs. There was a shipment for you, a large crate, no name, just parts and a bunch of Allen keys. Sounds ominous. Oh, wow. Every single sewer lane has a name. Oh, this is cool. And so, are there... Oh, what's this? Light grey limestone. Down via livid coffee. Via livid coffee? Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. This is quite the throwback. Oh, this is amazing. This is really cool. Uh... For those of you who don't know, this is a giant talking skinhead from the Jaffa factory days. Oh, wow, this brings back some cool memories. I wonder if it moves and everything. That is amazing. In fact, I can fly, so let's check it out. The levers were difficult. Oh, whoa, it's all set up inside as well? No way! Oh, this is amazing! I wonder if you can actually set the eyes on fire as well. Oh, this is cool. I want to see it. I want to see it in action. Oh, yeah. Berem, could you go behind and uh, and fire the levers up? Is that possible? Oh, looks like one of the eyes has gone out. <laughs> oh, the mouth opens. Oh, this is so cool. And the eyebrows, the eyebrows go up and down as well. Oh, that is so good. This is so awesome. This is amazing. Oh, this is all right. Enough, enough clowning around though. This is so cool, but we have to get topside and defend against the battle. We can't get caught reminiscing in the past and reliving the golden days. We have to, we have to, uh, we have to get very much in the now and defend against this incoming army. The drums, with the drums and the horns, they're on, they're on our doorstep. But this is a great place, I guess, if, if the battle goes south, if they breach the walls and they get into the kingdom, the people can hide down here and, um, and survive. I'm lost. How do we get out? I'll leave you to the defense, my lord, and prepare here just in case. That's right, rally the townsfolk and, uh, and get down, get down in there and, and hide, hide from the battlefield. I'm gonna head to the walls and man the defense. <laughs> Oh my god, the battle rages! Blackwood's here! Oh, oh, they, they, they are all by the TNT. I'm making the mana blast around. Oh, it worked! Oh my god, I got most of my dudes! Those are Blackwood's troops there. Where is his army? The fight goes well. All of my guys have jumped down from the from the from the walls. They're so they're so hungry for combat. They've charged into the field. Oh my god, look at the deaths pile up. We we made one hell of a crater down there. I'm not sure where they're coming from. There's just loads of them. This is madness. My dudes, my dudes are all dead. What am I going to do? Okay, it's down to me. Oh God, here they come. Let's go. Oh man, the headhunter crossbow is just mowing them down. This is crazy. Oops, I think I just shot my own dude. I'm so sorry. So sorry. That's it. That's the first wave taken care of. Oh my god. What's Blackwood gonna do now? He's got more dudes? This okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna whip out the champions. I brought I brought my favorite dudes to the battle. 
You know them, you love them. The champions, Theron, Chloe, all the big names. Go, my friends! Oh, that's not Theron, that's Narcher. Oh, whoa, they are rocking! What a dream team! Look at the damage they do! Now, I better not use my crossbow, because I really don't want to one-shot one of my own dudes. Oh, no, I'm in mud! Oh, watch out, they're getting overwhelmed, they're getting overrun! That's it! Oh, only, only Chloe and myself survived. High five, Chloe. Raise my sword. Oh, you, you did well, you did well. Oh, no, I've got the armor of the Green Knight. Oh, and I, and I wonder what happened to Theron Badshot. I think he ran away. I think he, he just ran away from battle and never came back. Oh, well played, Chloe. You are... Why is it? It's always the medic that prevails. Oh, it's Blackwood. What's he doing? He's, oh, he's on a steed. He's riding off. That's right, you coward. Run. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? It's time to go headhunting. Has he escaped? Oh, damn it. I can't, I can't see where he's gone. He's still on the server, though. And so is the purple champion. There he is! Die! Did I get him? Oh, he's gone. He's, he's fled into the woods. I'm, I'm not going to give chase. I'm not going to give chase. I need to... I need to... Oh, there's more troops! Oh, man. Ah, oh, Chloe. What a great and momentous day. We are victorious! Let's head back into base. Let's get to the tavern. Get some pint sinners. Listen to some music. I'll, I'll give give Big Willie Strife some steaks and he can cook us up a big tune. We'll go celebrate with the townsfolk. This is going to be great. This is going to be fantastic. Oh, yes. We won! Victory! We've, we've defeated Blackwood's army and he has run like a coward. We took out so many troops that it's going to take him a long time to recover from this. What's this? Where are you going? You, you, you bored of me already, Chloe. All right, let's head back to base. Cowards. They should have fought better. Blackwood. Ah, there you are. There's much work to be done. I have need of you. I answer to you no more. I am unbound, free. So, this is how it ends. Goodbye, Blackwood. Guys, what an epic battle. Oh my god. A lot of people lost their lives, so I think we should all raise a glass, raise a tankard to the fallen of the battle. Oh, what an epic victory it was, though. Those archers that lost their lives, and the grunts, the rosses, they're, we're all going to bring them back, we're going to resurrect them all, but they died for a worthy cause, and that is to defend the kingdom of Stinterfell. Oh, that's right, Willie Strife, you hear me? You hear me chanting? What's that in your hand? Is that a stick? Oh, no, it's a flute. But all the gangs here, the brave champions, they did such a good job. The Green Knight was brave. He did die in the in in the kind of in in the thrall of battle, but he was remembered and brought back. Obviously, Chloe Brightsword, the one survivor, the last woman standing of the Battle of Blackwood. Theron mediocre shot didn't turn up to the battle, but he sure as hell turned up to the party. And of course, Lady Aglemar, the brave commander. And that pork chop above her head means she is starving. I'll tell you what, guys, we've partied all the way through the night. It's now morning, but what an epic battle. They'll be singing songs of our victory and glory for years to come. Well, thanks for watching Rule the World, guys. That's right, for Stinterfell and Lord Stin. Well done, guys. It's a well-fought, hard-earned victory, but uh, it's all to you guys. I couldn't have done it without the brave help of Baron, without the glorious help for these wings and the tonics and things that saw us through the battle, for the, for the awesome weaponry that Baron created, for the fantastic headhunter crossbow, and of course, our brave champions for doing their duty in the line of battle. So until next time, guys, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you for some more Rule the World. Take care.